what do you think people, a lot of people don't understand about um, infectiousness of, you know, the Delta variant or, or SARS-CoV-2 in general um, with regard to, you know, this term breakthrough infections? What does that really mean? And um, how realistic is it for people to think that vaccines can create this like sterilizing immunity where people don't, you know, have any virus in their nose and aren't able to spread it at all? Uh, your, your points are really important, Kyle. First of all, this term breakthrough is, is pretty crazy because we knew that when the vaccines were remarkable in terms of their efficacy from the large trials, largest trials ever in vaccine history, they were 95%. So what do you want to call the 5%? They were breakthroughs? I mean, they're not perfect. And the problem with Delta is that imperfection has been accentuated. Uh, and the reason they're not perfect is they weren't designed, expected to achieve sterilization, mucosal immunity. That would require an uh, intranasal vaccine, which we haven't, you know, put the foot on the accelerator to get those uh, out there. And they're still in like phase one early trials. So they're, they're, this was intended, these vaccines, to get uh, prevention of uh, severe illness and illness. That was what the endpoint was, the symptomatic infections. And they were quite good, better than expected, better than almost any vaccine in history for that endpoint. But as you aptly point out, they were not expected to fully prevent spread, but even though they did that pretty well, again, until Delta came onto the scene. And it's a much more potent, higher load virus with its infections. And that's what we are confronting now. 